Hello peepees aka plant peoples welcome back to my channel I did mention in my last video that I will be doing a resta cabinet refresh um, my goal is to make it a little bit nicer and maybe create some more space for my new imports coming from planteria in Indonesia and also to house my new um, orchid imports from the orchid show last week was it last week i don't know but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that it can inspire you to maybe build your own cabinet or just refresh your own as well so without further ado let's get started so last week i went to the orchid show at van dusen's to pick up my equa genera plant but i ended up picking up this orchid instead and i also pre-ordered some other plants as well I've been obsessed with platyceriums lately, so I got this one here. This is the platyserium malkishikud. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, but isn't it so cute? It does remind me of the platyserium riddly, which mine died. I am getting a replacement soon. But look how cute that is. I plan on mounting this on a cork board and the next plant i got were a bunch of orchids this one here is the dendrobium jenkinsii don't come for me i'm probably pronouncing these wrong <laughs> i was kind of sad that there were no blooms on this one um but it's okay i'll try to bloom it on my own and so i'm just unwrapping this the orchids were actually held back in cargo for a week, but I'm surprised that it came back looking quite all right. Um, I don't know if these little stems are supposed to be wrinkled like that. I don't really have good experiences, not good experiences, but like I don't have much experience with orchids. So I just thought I'd give it a try. I really enjoy the orchids really like with really stubby leaves. So this one is a jewel orchid. Um, I am getting a replacement for this one just because you'll see in a bit that when I pulled the plant out, the stem actually was mush. Um, I'm not surprised because the moss on the bottom was quite wet. So yeah. This next one here is the Coribus. Uh, these are tubers, so I do need to um, germinate them. Is that is that the right word? Germinate? <laughs> um, but they are so cute. I'm just going to put in a picture right now. These are actually orchids. They only produce one leaf and one flower. They are extremely small tubers. They are the size of an Osmo coat. So basically, if these flowers are not pollinated, they will shoot out a runner and then they will have tubers in those runners. And that's what you will use to make new plants the following season so it's really cool i hope i am able to germinate it and just grow one at least because they're so adorable the next one i have is a, another orchid it is a smellier one this one is the araya panea i believe it's i had the list of orchids and i was googling almost all of it I just wanted something cute and small and this looked like a plant that I could mount on a cork board and yeah it doesn't have the most pleasant smell but I mean if you look at the flower um, it is just fuzzy it's it's so adorable I looked this up and it's supposed to have a citrusy smell but it honestly doesn't but may I don't know maybe if it gives me more blooms I, I would be able to smell the citrus smell a little bit more I'm not sure so that's pretty much what I got from tropical exotic um, so yeah I think I'm gonna get more I'm definitely going to maybe get a replacement for the jewel orchid if I can't revive it so right here i am just soaking these plants in water i'm going to soak it for about an hour and then i'm just gonna let it drain and then 
put it in a bin and overnight and after that i'm just going to mount it which you probably saw in my last video if you haven't seen it go check it out i do have a plant to do sort of plant update um, kind of video the wrapping of the plants is pretty good um, though a lot of it is really tightly packed so i don't know how beneficial that is for um orchids i don't know if that's like a normal thing but i do find with imports like usually when they pack the moss in it's like really tightly wrapped i don't know does that suffocate roots or anything let me know So you can see here when I was removing the jewel orchid, it just like came out so easily. The stem is totally mush, though it is sitting in water right now. It seems okay. However, I think I do need to cut that last segment off. Um, I This is actually my first jewel orchid, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I did look up some videos. It seems that people do stem propagations and yeah, so... I'm just going through the moss looking to see if there is the actual stem but I really couldn't see it and I don't know what that little white thing was in the pot. Okay, and the next one I have here is another Dendrobium, Bellatulum. So this one is cool because the leaf actually looks a little bit more silvery than green. So that one I soaked as well and then now I just put it in my pot. The Osmo coat, no, not Osmo coat, the um, Kari Bass, I just put it into some stratum. Okay, I can't find a good angle to film this, so excuse the mess in the background. <sighs> Anyways, um, I am pretty much going to time lapse this. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start cleaning out all the plants and bringing it out. I'm gonna give the cabinet a wipe down, and yeah, so we're gonna do that. Okay, now that it's clean, I don't really have too much working space in between my legs or in between, so I have like this really small space to work with. I have hooks at the back that I hooked through the little holes that originally came with the cabinet. And then, so I got this grid from AliExpress, but I also got another grid from Mini Snow. <gasps> I'm so out of breath. Okay, so this one is the one from Miniso. Um, so, oh my god, it's not Miniso, Umomo. So, if you guys want, you can get one from there. Um, I have S hooks that came out of the little, um, I have little openings at the top here. I don't think I weather stripped one side because I wanted airflow. Um, but yeah, I am just going to hook these on to my mini sew rack, if I can see what's going on here. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Oh my god. I just want it to be secure because I don't want anything to come crashing down. Because that would be very sad. I will be very sad. And like, it's not the most stable, so I just want to make it stable enough so that it won't fall. Yeah. 
I'll show you what I mean after. Okay, so it turns out I did weather strip the outside of my cabinet, um, but these are as hooks that I've kind of wired through and pretty much what is happening is that it is held like this. So it isn't stable at all, um, but it's good enough, I think, if, it, if I leave it untouched, so yeah. So yeah, so I have two grids here now and I think I'm gonna hang all my plants for the most part. Uh, I might have to get another grid to get the bottom, but I also have taller plants. So I'm just gonna clean my liner down here, uh, my liner thing sheet, and then I'm gonna put it in. So yes, I will be right back. Okay, I just like rinsed it because I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I bought these paper towels from Costco and they suck. So I'm not too pleased with it. Um, I just I got from Garden Works. I think you can get them pretty much in any garden center. Uh, it fits perfectly. So I'm happy with that. <gasps> I think I'm gonna put my plants with the pole on the bottom first. I don't know if I have other plants that need poles. Maybe my bigger ones too. Um, I actually originally got those levelers, the clear acrylic levelers, because I wanted to make like a really nice foresty green thing theme going around but I I just like couldn't commit to it like I it's not working out for me so that's why I took them out and I'm gonna try this new thing oh my god the clemency arm is giving me so much grief This doesn't look very stable. Maybe I'll keep this down there. Oh my god. This doesn't look cute. Guys, like I need help. Oh. <gasps> God, I have so many of those plants. Um, I do have more of those shelves, so I might actually utilize them. Let's see. I have too many things. This is not good. I guess I can actually use these now. So. Don't get this, it's a brandy. Just saying, don't do it. <laughs> I still want this wood to be in here though. I think it's cute, it adds, it adds a nature-y sort of vibes. Maybe I'll move the clemency for them. works. Cool. <laughs> um, I think I'll do my orchids on the side here. So I'm just going to rotate these hooks so they can just hook on. Okay, this looks stupid. Um, I have S hooks, so they will probably look better with S hooks. Okay. I got these off Amazon, so they were meant for this purpose. Is it gonna 
do. Well, I kind of want the body to be facing forward, actually, but you know the potty could probably sit up here. Oh, I also have really strong magnet hooks that go on the ceiling of this, so we'll try that. I might put two of those magnets because they don't seem very strong right now. Um, or put it behind this. Oh yeah, I like that. I just want it to be watered easily, really, at the end of the day. I, can even, I just want balance as well, so. bad that there's certain things that I want and it just doesn't look or it just doesn't fit um, I have extra ones here so sometimes I'll use them as like decoration in the back some help so I have not done anything about it I'm, I think I'm stressed out <laughs> I think I'm stressed and I'm sure you can hear the sound of my stress
Okay, so I think we're good. Um, I think it looks so much better than what it used to look like. Um, I don't, I still don't have enough space to fit new imports, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Uh, I might get a secondary grid here actually. Um, so I can do stuff like this. Otherwise, I think we are, we're pretty good. So I'll give you a quick pan. Alright, and that is my cabinet refresh. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button, give me a comment, and subscribe, share. Um, please do leave in the comment section down below if you have any video suggestions that really helps me with creating content. Otherwise, thank you so much for your continual support, and I shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye!